Howdy, I'm Bob Terry, and thanks for joining us here on westernsontheweb.com for another great adventure with our amigos Cisco and Poncho. Get ready because here they come, and it's sponsored by toyguntown.com, and it's free for you here on westernsontheweb.com. Here's romance. Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West, the Cisco Kid. Don't be so nervous, Pancho. Don't be nervous, Pancho. And the sheriff wants us for robbery and murder. Let's win before we find ourselves dancing at the end of a rope without music. But don't you understand? We have to find out what this is all about. Hey, Cisco, I don't want to understand nothing, only how to get out of this town quick. Come on. We got to see the sheriff. <laughs> We've got to see the sheriff. Cisco, you are loco in the head. All you want to put Pancho's neck where the loop is waiting to say, come and get it. Oh, stop worrying. Come on. Sheriff, she ain't home, eh? Hey, wait, Pancho. I'm going to look around. Hey, Pancho. You better go to the door. Keep your eyes and ears open. My ears is open. what you was looking for? Yes, Pancho. And what do you think? It says here that you robbed the Mesa Verde Bank three days ago. Me? I didn't, did it? Yes, and it also says that you killed the deputy who chased you. See, I didn't rob no bank. I didn't kill nobody. Are you sure? Positively, I'm sure I'm sure. What, three days ago, I was in San Miguel eating tortillas. Hey, don't get excited. The sheriff wants me too. Wait, you mean we was both in, in Mesa Verde doing these bad things while we was in San Miguel eating tortillas? That's what the sheriff's report says. You know, Pancho, it looks like someone is doing a very good job of impersonating us. He's good. He, we go down to that banker and make him get down on top of his knees and... and uh, uh, apologize, eh? That's what I said. No, Pancho, not now. Not during banking hours. We'll come back later. $50,000 on deposit in your bank, Harley. And I have to have it now. But I've already told you the Cisco kid cleaned me out of everything except the securities. Well, that's too bad. But I have to have the money. And I have to have it the way I put it in. In cash. Very well, Jim. I'll get it. I'll get it from the Cottonwood City Bank. You'll have it tomorrow. All right, Harley. Tomorrow.
Dad, Mr. Brent has been giving you trouble again. I heard what he just said. That's a banker's life, my dear. You will have to take over until I get back. Hi, boys. Stay where you are. How's your Spanish accent today? Always ready, willing, and able, boss. What's up? The president of the bank is taking a little trip to Cottonwood. He's coming back tomorrow with $50,000 in cash. You want us to meet the stage, huh? Right. This is even better than I thought. Yeah, not bad. First, we knock off the bank. The guy's got to raise more dough to cover your deposits, and we take that, too. And if this keeps up, pretty soon we'll get the bank. No harm will come to you. How did you get in here? Hey, the lock on the side door is no good, senorita. I think it's better you fix it. What do you want this time? This time? Oh, so I have been here before? How could I have been here before, Pancho, and not remember such a pretty lady? Hey, Cisco, this is no time for the riddles. Uh, let's went before the sheriff catch hold of us. But, Pancho, you, you know we have very important business with the owner of the bank. Go watch the window. You've done enough damage. Oh, I wish I could call a sheriff. You know, when you get angry, your eyes scintillate and sparkle like the stars in the heaven. You are the... You keep your compliments. You are not very sociable, are you? right up to his office. Thanks. What I have to say must be said quickly. You and everyone else thinks that Pancho and I robbed the bank. That is not so. I don't believe you. Oh, but just stop and think. If we were the outlaws, would we come back here and risk our necks? I don't know. I hadn't thought of that. Good. Now, will you please tell me where is the owner of the bank? Well, Dad is in Cottonwood City. He's coming back on the stage this afternoon, and he has a lot of money with him. I'm worried about him. Oh, so you are Miss Harley. Well, please do not worry. We'll see to it that your dad will get back here safely. Money and all. He said you don't got nothing to worry about. We take care of the money. We'll be back. You put your neck where a chicken get it chopped. And always your tongue wags like the hammer of a broken bell. Oh, Cisco. Shh. Quiet. Come on, get 
going. Now look here, Sheriff. There must be a mistake. Mistake my foot. You thought Harley would be on the stage, but we fooled you. He'll be along later. So, Senorita Harley didn't believe me after all. You mean she told the Sheriff? Well, of course, who else knew Now, it? wait a minute. Let's just say she didn't swallow your line of malarkey. Now, come on, get on that stage. Come on. Well, I'll be. Well, we'd better change our clothes and horses and get word to the boss. We will return in just a moment with the climax of our exciting adventure of the Cisco Kid. You better come clean, Cisco. What did you do with the bank money? I told you before, Sheriff. Bring the banker and his daughter here, and then maybe I'll talk. Oh, now that don't make sense. But if it'll help, I'll go get them. Keep your eyes open. Call. Wait till you hear what happened. Cisco Kid and his pal showed up and we saw every... I know, I know. They're in jail now. Harley called me over to give me my money and told me all about it. And I don't like it. You don't, eh? I suppose you'd feel much better if they trapped us instead of them. Don't talk like a fool, Martin. Things ain't so bad. They're gonna hang, not us. Look, don't ever underestimate the Cisco Kid. In jail or out. Tell me where the money is, Cisco, and I think that I... What you think is of no importance to I me. I thought that you were going to turn around and... And I'm not interested in what you think either. But you, Miss Harley, to say you believe me and then set a trap, that is unforgivable. I think you should apologize. Apologize? Well, of all the nerve. You know, it's a good thing we got a hold of the sheriff in time. Yeah, the sheriff is always on time. Quiet, you. Listen, Cisco, it might go a lot easier for you if you tell us where you've hidden the money. Pardon me, sir, but I was talking to your daughter, Miss Harley. Are you going to apologize or not? Come on, Dad. Let's get out of here. He isn't going to talk. I'll walk down with you. Oh, Miss Harley, I'll stop by for that apology as soon as they break out of this jail. <laughs> Keep on dreaming, Cisco. <laughs> Say, when are we going to do all these things you're bragging about? Break out of this jail. Why, Pancho, don't you like it here? No, I don't like it. Anything I hate is something I don't like. Where would you like to go, Pancho? Anywhere. No place in particular. It's only some place where there's something besides morning, noon, and night. Well, good. Then we'll go there pretty soon. <laughs> yeah. On the end of a rope. That stretches things too far. Oh, stop worrying, Pancho. We'll get out of here. Yeah, but how? <laughs> Pay you for what you did for me. Good luck. How you think of such things? Magic, my friend. Magic. Oh, deputy, may I see you a moment? I have something very important to show you. What do you want to show me? This wonderful pistola. Open this up. Inside. No, it could have been worse. Tell the sheriff it could have been him. Get back. Cisco, let's get our horses and win. Not so fast, Pancho. Get our guns and wait here. Just what I thought. What did you thought? Someone was waiting for us in the back. In the front, too. Here, it's a 
trap. Caramba, huh? They waited to shoot up like fish in a barrel. What are they going to do now? Move this paper away. Give me a hand with that desk. I forgot something very important. You wait for me behind those rocks, eh? Hands up, everyone. Miss Harley, you, come over here. Remember my promise? I came back for that apology. I wouldn't apologize to you if you were the last man in the world. Apologize when I'll shoot up the whole place. All right, I apologize. Now, are you satisfied? Good. I will be seeing you. He do everything I told him to do. Did he tell you why they helped us escape? So they can shoot us in the back? Que vergüenza. I knew I must remember something, but I forget to remember. Then I'll tell you, he's one of the bandits who's been masquerading as us. That's right, isn't it? You don't know what you're talking about. And it wasn't safe with real Cisco and Pancho around, so he tried to kill us, eh? You're talking in riddles. A uh, stupid man like you would not know how to think of these things. Who's your boss? I ain't got any boss. Hey, Pancho, put him up against the tree. Bueno. Hey, who does he look most like? Is Cisco or Pancho? No, he's too heavy for Cisco. He's more like me. Pancho. You think he looks like you? So you go first. Do you think your memory is any better now? Pancho, I think we'll have to help him remember a little more, eh? Pancho. 
think you can throw your other knife through his hat so he can just part his hair? Me? <laughs> I can do with my eyes closed. I've got enough. I'll talk. I'll talk. Make one move and it'll be your last. If it's money you're after, it's in the cash box on my desk. I'm after the money you stole from the bank. You're crazy. Move away. You want to play, do you? Not your fingers. Well on. Gracias, senor. Put your hands up. The same door she shut and locked me up. <laughs> <laughs> this time I really apologize from the bottom of my heart. Hands up, everybody. You too, higher. You have insulted my compadre. You call this apologetics? Now, do it right and make it good. You mean like this? No, he means like this. The Cisco Kid will be back in a moment. But first, an important message. this episode of Cisco and Poncho and I hope you'll come by and see us at Toy Gun Town and also I hope you'll spend some more time with us here on westernsontheweb.com. I'm Bob Terry. Have a great day and we hope to see you again on down the trail.